you know, we all come up in different environments. Most of the time when you hear someone say that they're a product of their environment, it's always the people who come from the bad environment. And I just want to say that, you know, to the people who do come from bad environments like myself, that you don't have to be a product of your environment. A lot of times we grow up in these places, we are intrigued by what's going on around us. And the reason I say you don't have to be a product of your environment is because we have so many people who have come out of these same places that we grew up in. For instance, myself, I grew up in San Diego, California, and I grew up in Skyline. You got people like Akili Smith, Rashawn Salam. You know, these guys went to the NFL and they grew up in the same neighborhood as me. Rubbed elbows with some of the same guys that ran the streets and they still made it. They didn't become a product of their environment because they wanted something more for themselves. But they decided to make a choice. They wanted something better for themselves. You know, some people look at guys like them or even guys like myself when we change our lives they you know did good with their lives from day one people look at us like you're better than everybody else but the truth is it's not that we think that we're better than everybody we just know that we deserve better results so you know everybody out there who's growing up in you know gang related neighborhoods and things like that i know it's hard but you don't have to be a victim of those circumstances all you really have to do is just be yourself and Think and act from the heart what's really in your heart because at the end of the day, anything that has to do with the streets, selling drugs, gang banging or hustling or pimping or whatever, none of that comes from anybody's heart. Everything that comes from the heart is positive. When you come from these environments, positive stuff really ain't cool. So if you were to just be an individual and do what your heart is telling you to do, express that, people will start shaking you. Some of these people that you see in the hoods and in bad environments and things like that, some of them will tell you that they, they'll never leave. And you know, I can tell you what their reasons are. A lot of times because they know that they'll fail in the real world. They only know a certain language and you can only talk about what you know. But if you were to try, you could make it. Try and go such a far way, go such a long way. And there's some people who never try anything, so they never, ever, ever know how far it can get them. So to everybody out there, I just want to tell you, you know, always think from the heart. Think think from within. Don't listen to nobody that you're smarter than. Stay on a high vibration and stay positive. You don't have to become a product of your environment. It's people in the best environments doing things that they shouldn't do. So let's not use our environment as an excuse. There's some people in good environments that choose to come to the hood. There's so many African-American athletes, so many African-American professionals that have the same story of growing up in the hood. But they made a choice not to let the hood take them under. So you're a philosopher? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So you're a philosopher? Yes, yes, yes. So you're a philosopher? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>